So now one problem we have is to establish which variogram we have to, to choose. More or less the procedure is the same that we use when we want to interpolate a, a, a distribution function to a set of data. We, we have a, a zoo, a group of uh, variograms, and we try to fit this, each one of these variograms to the data and see which is the, be the best suited to reproduce our data set. Obviously, most of the time, the choice is not a unique. unique. Uh, we have to, yeah, but this is uh, the matter of the fact. If you look back at the definition of the variogram, the variogram should be zero in zero. But in practice, when we go to, uh, when we have estimation of the data, we have, we observe that sometimes the variogram, the experimental variogram, the point doesn't, the point go, doesn't go to zero. And we have what we call a nugget. This means that the, the spatial variation, mostly that at the origin, the, the system is, are a little bit uncorrelated, not completely uncorrelated. But uh, essentially, we are sampling our system uh, at so such a large distance that we are not able to resolve here how the variogram goes to zero. Uh, we have the nugget, the nugget, and the seal is called nugget. It derives from because the Kriegin comes from the name of uh, Kriege, who was a, a I, I think a geologist, but he was trying to predict where the gold was in South Africa at that time. So the nugget is the gold nugget, and sometimes, and sometimes we have this uh, these things here. When uh, the variogram increase, always increase, and mm, most of, I don't say most of the time, but yes, usually, okay, which is the same, convert to a, convert to an asymptote, this is called total seal. But for what I say to you before, this is not actually necessary. <coughs> we can have infinite total seal in some processes, at least in the range of data that we have. No real process in, can I, okay, no, there are real processes with that total to, to seal that goes to infinity with the infinite separation. In this region, the data are said to be correlated. In this region, the data are said to be uncorrelated. Uh, yes? In reality, so we have linear relationship. But we couldn't calculate, right? So because yeah. you say when we have zero, we need to, but we yeah. are not able to record. Yeah. So it should yeah, be uh, the, the measurements are the dot. Yeah. Obviously, a real measurement are, are more spread than that. This is a, yeah, uh, if we have a things like this, we are really happy. <laughs> Case. And uh, you know, here the first point you have is this one is for sure not zero. You are you are not able to infer it if it goes to zero. But uh, you actually should form. You could sometimes force to, it to be to zero. But the model of variogram that we use, uh, some uh, at least some of the models uh, can have a nugget uh, if you want to different. And how this data collected? This Sorry? How this data collected? How? Ah, in, in, in any, ah, they are in, special data of any type. For instance, assume that uh, you are the point of measurement. Every one of you measure a temperature. Okay. So uh, we try to consider the distance from uh, uh, the distance between all of you. No body is distance zero, obviously. They are all separated. 
and uh, this point represents the separation. Maybe we have more than one point with the same distance. And we put then uh, later on in one slide, I will put a, 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 a real example of points. So you will see how, how it works. And so it can be temperature, it can be rainfall in our chains. Yeah, the nugget, I already explained what the nugget is. It can be both a real expression of the data or also it can be also expression of the error we are doing in measuring because the data, we, we, we the data themselves have, have a variance in place, which is due, no, not the variance due to, to the time variance of the process, but the variance of the stochastic process that is told to generate them and that can be different from zero. So uh, let's see a, a little example of uh, variograms. This is a particular variogram with discontinuity in the origin. The field produced by a variogram of ID like this is a special field is like this one. It's like white, it's called usually white nose. Used to be the type of uh, pattern that you we, we used to have in the whole TV CRT, CRT TV maybe now in the in the and usually the TV is black now so we can do this example for saying what is a white noise it means that any the, the value here is uncorrelated to to the value in the in very close goal say the measure I do and the measure he does are uncorrelated but even if I am here, uh, also the measurements are uncorrelated. And even if we are more close. So, and this is the variogram that describes this one. Uh, the total series is uh, the total variance that they expect to have all over. The, is the variance that they expect to have all in all the data. Going back <laughs> to some measurement, this is a, 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 a plot that I took from one of from the textbooks. On, uh, um, you have linked some uh, in, the, in the material for this class. We also have uh, some textbooks on, uh, a part of textbooks on, on this thing that you, if you want, if you want to go deeper in the subject. And you see, here we have a lot of points. And so we try to fit that value that which is maybe a, I don't know which I don't know, which uh, variogram has this for. Uh, usually, th these are behaving data. They behave quite well you are not obtaining data like this one. You are more like obtaining data like this, you see, much spread around. You have points very close at the same distance. So what you have to do is to order the data and you have to interpolate it. You see that there is some shape going on and you have to interpolate it. One thing that you can do is uh, uh, you can also s uh, count the data in a beam, take the average, and then uh, um, fit the average. And uh, a model fitted to those data, so for instance, it can be this one. Uh, a problem with this the variogram is that usually you don't have, uh, here is, is an example of real data where you have a spread, but it's not a, a good example for other things because sometimes you don't have so much data in, in many occasions. With the, when you have many data, the data themselves can explain to you something. The problem is that, when, that usually you, you, don't, you have variability and also relatively small data, a small data set for all the range. 
So let's go and uh, start to see that, for instance, this is the spherical uh, model. You have, this is the nugget. This is the seal. H is the distance, and the spherical model has one parameter. Why this shape here? Because of one value. So once you understand that the, the, the body gram has these kind of shapes, you try to get functions that uh, kind of reproduce that kind of shape. There is no, uh, there, are, there is not real ro rocket science in this operation. Just seeing uh, mathematical forms that there is, for instance, this other is a cubic model. I am mean, not saying that you have to learn to remember, to keep in memory <laughs> all these shapes. But you see also the on top is not produced to my mind. Me is a, this guy that produces. You see also the field is different in a series if you use different variograms. And this is a, uh, the cubic model, which is a kind of parabolic around the origin. So these models are uh, the regression analysis results, the, the line that we can apply on uh, Yeah, it, yeah. If people that working on this field write several functional forms and decided that these are uh, a sample of forms that works. Yeah. It's very cool model. I never heard first time I see. Yeah. Probably you have to know a little more of this one. Yeah. And, uh, and which is the exponential one, which is kind of linear and the origin. And so uh, what happens that you need to add in the, 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 the computer code for estimating the, the um, aging of what you have, a linear system solver, a system for interpolating the data to what? To several models of variogram. So in the tool that you will use, you have uh, a, this SIC is, a, I don't remember that, a simple uh, interpolator, pigeon interpolator, something like this. And uh, we have uh, 11 types of, of variogram implemented in it. 